everybody and welcome to this mock experience uh, feminization of politics. Hi there, this is Alejandra, Ana and Irene, that's me, and we are just a small part of the great and amazing team of women from different social and political movements across Europe that are part of this feminization of politics project. So you are very welcome in this MOOC course and through four different modules or chapters you will be able to get a deeper understanding about what feminization of politics means. You will also be able to meet diverse voices from many different places around Europe and not only Europe that will also bring us their own idea on, on what do they think feminization of politics is. Okay, but let's start from the very beginning. What is all this feminization of politics about? The feminization of politics is a project that seeks to bring feminist practices inside municipalist organizations. Actually, we could say that it started in 2015 when a wave of municipalist platforms actually swept in small towns, villages and major cities in Spain and inspired a lot of practices in the rest of Europe and in the world. This was a movement that was trying to challenge austerity measures and liberal instances that control our lives in the local territories, but also was trying to counterfeit a far-right movement that was actually depicting the other and migrants and a series of social problems that reduce and increase uh, lack of equality in the cities and in the territories. The first phase of feminization of politics resulted in a report whose creation process was carried out through this network of organizations uh, across Europe. During the process, we carried out a self-assessment of the feminist practices that our organizations were facing on a daily basis. Afterwards, we held a meeting in Barcelona where we deepened these experiences and divide them into the work access that make up the report. Finally, we work again in our own organizations with this work access, extracting practices, methodologies and challenges on which we should continue working with the network. Municipalism, or better say, this particular kind of new municipalism, actually came out as a constructive positive and progressive movement that was counteracting the lack of democracy and the way the local governments was actually acting against the interest of its own inhabitants. And how we did it? Well, in Spain, we actually developed at five uh, main points of how to create a municipalist platform that was like, we did a participatory program we also had open lists where everybody could actually uh, propose themselves to be part of the electoral process. We did a crowdfunding and so that we didn't depend on the banks and having like huge uh, credits uh, from them. And we also did it with a uh, showing that we had a strong base of social support. Actually, this was in consonance with the new spirit and a new way that uh, had started with the squares in 2011 and we end up winning elections in some cities. At the same time, we saw how these political spaces that were very much influenced by a very strong feminist movement, that were influenced by the democracy and the horizontal decision-making and the consensus um, mood of the squares, and that actually incorporated the idea of the confluence and the idea of the collaboration. Um, when these spaces confronted the let's say real politics, where they confronted the power, all this process got so much masculinized. And as a feminist, we thought that we had lost something in the way. So this project is seeking to address what happens when you actually are looking to face the power structures of the institutions, what happens with the organizations and how we are going to actually introduce or maybe for some of us reintroduce feminism in our own organizations. And here comes feminism. 
That is New Municipalism became an arena for practicing feminism, for doing feminism and feminists from many different social organizations, movements, political parties brought up different ways of understanding and practicing uh, feminism. And let us stress that we are speaking about doing, doing because we understand that uh, feminism is, a, is an ongoing, is a living process and involves uh, not only the outside but also the inside of the organizations, the way we design policies, the way we Take up, we make, the, make up decisions, the way we organize ourselves, the way we care of each other and we take care of ourselves. We can conceive a transforming a an, an, an municipalist movement without uh, having feminism on its core. And we discussed that with our colleagues uh, Vera and Ada from Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung because we, we worked with them in writing a um, a book which is called Feminized Politics Now, and let me bring, let us uh, bring you this reflection that they, they made on the on that on that book that you will find on the on the resources bank of this of this MOOC, because they say municipalist critique of institutions mirror many aspects of the feminist critique of liberal democracy. Indeed, their emphasis on empathy, care, togetherness, sharing empowerment and non-violence represents a veritable paradigm shift in political culture, a progressive step that feminism has been trying to take for a long time. As we said before, feminization or becoming feminist is a mainstream process that requires to wear what we call the purple lenses, which means that we have to understand, to, to try to analyze the world around, around us uh, with a feminist perspective, with a gendered perspective, and that takes time, of course, and uh, while once you are wearing those purple lenses, you are able to analyze how power dynamics are uh, working towards you and your organization and, and uh, towards the territory you are living in. Also, you can also analyze the dynamics of care, the, the reproduction of uh, uh, of labor uh, and so on and when we are when we take a feminization of politics uh, as, uh, as a statement of making politics more feminist that doesn't simply mean that we want more women doing politics of course of course we want but we recognize that implementing feminism in municipalist uh, politics means much more and the problem is that uh, it's, it's difficult to do it in, uh, in daily in the, in the daily dynamics of our organization and, and even even today a lot of new municipalist movements face uh, patriarchal practices uh, within their, their, their structures and their dynamics of power and their daily relations. That's why uh, sometimes feminism is somehow postponed, let's say, and uh, there are like, for example, I don't know, uh, media visibility, the elections, uh, the, the, the urgency of, uh, of everyday problems uh, are the, the enemies of, of feminism that sometimes, and let me once again come back to what uh, our we reflected with our colleagues from Rosa Luxemburg. Uh, they say that uh, building projects, feminist projects in towns and cities this is easier than trying to tackle the monster of pre-existing state institutions like classical political parties, parliaments, bureaucracy, or, or and of course it's 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 easier working from this uh, municipalist basis than understanding that this uh, giant structures will suddenly embrace feminism. That's why we are here because we want to to start from the roots and from the basis. So, what can we learn from feminization of politics? The task of feminizing politics serves to create communities, to empower people, to support and take care of themselves, their peers and others. It is a tool to rethink our own practices, the biases and the acknowledged assumptions, and also to prevent inequalities and violent dynamics. It is a way to communicate, to manage crisis and dissent, but also to produce imaginaries and sustainable forms of leadership and of power relations. We have inherited the theories and the experience developed by many feminists around the world for ages. Their success and their failures, their goals and their results, but at the same time we are building our own practices, our own tools and our own methodologies. Sometimes we are just learning by doing due to the hustle and bustle of times and some others, thanks to a deep and needed collective approach where we have been able to look at each other's practices and experiences and share our knowledge and time together. This outlet 
derives from an understanding that political activism actually focuses on mutuality, social justice, equality and plurality. And it has to be based on practices that implement these values. Municipalism views power as a positive and creative force uh, for overcoming local, economic, patriarchal and racial uh, prejudices and other forms of domination and exploitation. Well, maybe it's good to know where are we now? Sure. This book is the result of the work that uh, this, uh, all these women have been developed since then, since the Feminization of Politics project was born. We have joined forces to share our, our problems, our expectations, our challenges, our obstacles, and also our success stories too. This project has already planted many, many seeds in the shape of uh, congresses, uh, publications, seminars, and now this, this MOOC. But it's still going to grow more and more. And the most important thing we have uh, created so far is a safe, uh, steady and a strong network of feminists from Belgrade to Naples, from Zagreb to Madrid, that are willing to continue working on, on, on sharing and spreading our experience and, and sharing our practices to feminize politics. And now, the mock? Yes. So, what are you going to find here? This MOOC is divided in four modules. Each of them has an introductory video, this one, and then some interviews in sound format and a list of resources that you can check if you want to go deeper in this topic. It also includes a not so serious, a little bit fun quiz that we put there just to make sure that you are listening to us. The first module, this is the one that you have watched so far, is an introduction to the concept of feminization of politics and of municipalism. And you're going to find the full report and the executive report that we actually produced in the previous, um, uh, let's say, phase of this project that started more than two years ago. The second one tackles care in political organizations and how care work should be made visible, should be more evenly shared and consider a collective responsibility of the whole organization. We embrace a holistic view of care that pays attention to people's caregiving, but not only, also to value care in relationship, the need of psychological report, the burnout prevention, the self-care and the promotion of well-being. The third one, will be about resources. And resources are not only financial or human resources, it's not only money and skills or expertise. We know how sometimes in organization uh, structures or even technical platforms are key, but we are also aware that there are other kinds of resources. There is social capital, there is institutional capital, there is the endless resource of trusting each other and knowing what are the networks and who is taking care of what. The fourth and last one will be about power. Feminists understand power as built collectively through cooperation and not as a resource that is taken from others through competition. Feminizing power means both sharing and creating power, incentivized collaboration and abandoning confrontational discourses, including with opponents. Maybe you're wondering where we are tackling these specific topics. Well, we thought they were the most interesting to start to share with people around and with other, other agents and movements as a first step on the topic of feminization of politics. Uh, hopefully, after this virtual walk through some of the voices and the experiences that have been thinking about these topics, you will decide to join us and to start something new. In any case, we are here to help count on us. Keep in mind, this is a self-administered course. However, we will provide a platform for debate, discussion, and for networking here. So, welcome and thanks for coming. We hope you find this learning experience interesting and enriching. To continue, let us introduce you some interesting people you should meet to learn a bit more about the feminization of politics and municipalism. And see you in the next video.